Good boy. Hey guys, I'm out for a walk with Oakley, the mini Aussie poodle puppy. And he's showing off his beautiful heel. Very nice. And you might notice that I'm not holding a leash in my hand. And there's a reason for that. We have him dragging a long line for safety, of course, but otherwise he is completely off leash. Good boy. And we do teach all our dogs to, of course, yield to leash pressure. So when they're wearing a six foot leash and they feel the pressure on their neck, they know that means, whoops, I should not be pulling against this pressure. I should look to my human for guidance. Very nice, so every dog leaves here knowing that. But we really put a lot of focus on the off-leash work because we're an off-leash program, we're an e-collar program. Uh, but <laughs> when the dog is off-leash, when they're hiking or enjoying their life post-graduation with their family, and you don't have a leash in your hand, and the dog's healing with you and suddenly breaks off to chase a squirrel, or runs to greet another dog, or whatever, you have a way to tell your dog, and they have a way to understand what you mean when you use the e-collar pressure. So if we go this whole program, never teaching these dogs to yield to pressure on the e-collar, well, you're not gonna have a very reliable off-leash dog. Good boy. It's a matter of safety, it's a matter of good training. Very nice, and that's why we typically take our walks with just a long line dragging. Very nice, buddy. Good job. It also gives the dog more options, so that if they wanna chase that squirrel, I'm not gonna physically hold them back. They make the choice to chase that squirrel, they get a correction, they say, oh gosh, okay, so I guess that unless I'm told I can chase a squirrel, it kind of sucks, I don't really like it anymore. So you can kind of tamp down things like that. Good job. Nice job, buddy. So here's how I want his owner to use his off-leash training and his e-collar on their walks at home. Oakley, good boy. Heel, give the command, start moving. Matter of fact, I'm not gonna say heel with a question mark, I'm just gonna say heel and go. If he's not right with me, I simply tap, tap, tap on the stem. We're at a number he perceives out here, seven, pretty low. Good job, but that number can change based on excitement, environment, so many different things. Good job. As we're walking along, if Oakley decides he wants to go sniff that grass or chase a squirrel or whatever it is, I'll keep moving, I'll keep moving in the direction I was going and I'll simply tap on the e-collar. Good boy. And that should bring him right back with me to my left leg. If not, I'll keep moving. I can use my tone, make a beep, which means come, if I'm farther away by that point. Good boy. And then I will go up in my numbers. I'm not gonna stay at that seven if he's ignoring it. I'll go up from a seven to a 15. I'll kind of scroll up a little bit. Very good boy. So that it actually has meaning to him. So it's not just the same number, the same monotonous tapping on his shoulder over and over again that means nothing have a consequence for your dog that actually matters to them and you won't have so many issues. Very nice job. Good boy. Nice job. So if he's pushing heel, it probably means he's not too focused on following me as a leader. And that means we can do a few things to set him up. Good boy. For example, the about turn. Walk straight and then do a 180 turn to your right. Good job. Very nice. Good boy. Now he was right with me, but if as I did that turn and he hit that apex and kept going without me, I would give a tap and keep moving the other direction. So that tells the dog, hey, you better pay attention because I might just be randomly changing direction without warning you. But he got it, very good boy. He has to do a 180 turn to the left. But he's right there, very nice. Good boy. Now if he weren't paying attention, my leg probably would have brushed against his face. And I would have simply tapped at a low number. Good boy. That just means, hey, watch my leg, because I can move this way as well. Good boy. Oakley says humans are crazy. Good job. Some sidestepping, where I move to my right, and he has to close that gap. Good boy. Zigzag walking. So all these exercises are to kind of keep the dog on their toes, so I'm walking crazy. I call this a six shots of tequila walk. He's right with me. Vary your pace, so I'm walking very slow. He might think that we're stopping. Just tap the tone there, told him, whoops, we're, kill we're still moving. So walk like a grandma. Good boy, let's go. Good job, let's go. He thinks we're stopping. Good job, there he goes. And then suddenly, walk very fast. Good boy, I'm not correcting him at all. He's hustling to get to me, I'm really happy with him. Good job. Auto sits. Good job, so abrupt stops, very nice. I'm happy with you, very nice. So he's showing me that he's really paying attention, he's really trying hard, and he's earned himself a break. Oakley, break! Yeah, silly boy, good job. And on break, <laughs> he's free to do whatever Oakley wants to do. Go on, buddy. 